Hey, welcome to a new video. To take a walk in the woods can be very relaxing, but if you decide to go into the forest by yourself at night, it can be very frightening. Think for example of the sound of the trees blowing, but besides that, you don't know what you can find in the forest. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. In 2018, a photographer named Patty Marr was driving her car towards Orangeville in the area in Ontario, Canada, when she came across something strange. The area led her towards a forest where a large amount of shoes were tied to trees. And not just a few shoes, but hundreds of shoes. Some were hanging from the branches, while others were suspended from the top of the trees. You would think that this is a strange kind of memorial, or perhaps was done by an artist, but to this day, there's no explanation for the shoes. According to the police in the area, reports of the shoes date back to 1972. Could it possibly have a more sinister-like meaning? What do you think? Some forests can be very creepy, but have you ever heard of the Hoey Forest? The Hoey Forest is located just outside Cluj-Napoca in Transylvania, Romania, and is known as the creepiest forest in the world because nothing grows there. At all. There's many dark stories circulating, including one of a shepherd who went missing here, along with his 200 sheep. But he's just one of the thousands of people who have mysteriously gone missing in the forest. It's also thought that aliens have been here. This is because pictures were taken by Emil Barnea of a UFO in 1968. Anyone who was fascinated by the forest and decided to visit it later regretted it. Visitors reported nausea, fear, hearing strange voices and giggling, and also feeling as if they were being watched. In the small village of Bishopville in South Carolina, USA, there's a story circulating about a reptilian-like monster called the Lizard Man. The first recorded sighting was on June 29, 1988, when a teenager driving home stopped by a road to fix his tire. Suddenly in the dark, red eyes were staring at him, with claws and green scaly skin. The lizard man was over two meters tall, and allegedly ripped off the car mirror and then scratched the roof of the car. Over the following months, more attacks would have taken place on other cars. Not only were these destroyed, but muddy footprints with three toes were left behind. But it wasn't just a story, because someone managed to capture him on camera as well. In the video, a group of friends were fishing when they came across a creepy creature. Do you believe this is the infamous lizard man? When you cut down a tree, the last thing you expect to find is a mummified dog stuck in the middle of the tree. The dog that has sharp teeth has been perfectly preserved over the years. In the 1980s, a group of loggers were cutting down a tree in Georgia when they discovered the dog. At first, they were shocked, but the mummified dog was eventually named Stucky. When experts examined the tree and the dog, they determined that it was between 50 and 100 years old. They thought it had been a hunting dog chasing a squirrel. Then it would have crawled through a small hole under the tree and then got stuck. Today, the tree with the mummified dog is on display at the Georgia Museum, if you plan to visit. Walking around in the woods at night could be pretty terrifying for most people. One day, an anonymous man set up a camera because he was looking for deer. The camera he had put up was activated when there was movement in the area. The next morning, when he looked back at the camera footage, he had captured several deer on camera. But in one of the photos, there were two deer present and a young ghostly girl. It's still unknown today who this girl was. Some claim it's a girl who had gone missing years ago, while others said it was a ghost. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Imagine you're taking a walk through beautiful forests of Scotland and you come across something that makes you think you've landed in another world. At first glance, these invisible figures look creepy. But fortunately, we know who's behind these creepy images. In fact, it's an artist named Rob Mullahan who had the idea to create statues that make people think about their impact on the woods. If you didn't know it was a work of art, you probably would have been shocked. Rob is said to have created the statues with a camouflage effect that makes them look magical. If you happen to be walking through the woods in Scotland, then there's a good chance you'll encounter these statues. There's no need to be afraid of them. The next picture is said to be one of the scariest pictures ever taken in a forest. It's said to have been taken by a camera placed on a branch of a tree in a remote forest. The location of the forest is unknown, but it's said to be kilometers away from the nearest town. Also, there is said to be only one house in the area. In the picture, we can see that it's not an animal, but what could it be? Some people think it's a ghost, while others say it's a human lost in the woods. But this is very strange, because why would a person wear a robe in the middle of the night in the forest? Some people suggest that the time when the picture was taken could be the witching hour. This is the hour when it's believed that spirits and demons are at their most powerful. 
What kind of figure do you think this is? As you can see in the following video, something strange is going on here. In fact, it looks like the entire forest can breathe. I also wouldn't blame you if you would run away after seeing this. But don't worry, the forest may be breathing in and out, but experts say this is because of some kind of wind effect. The wind is actually trying to push the trees down, and as a result, when the roots feel these effects, the ground seems to move. If you're curious about where this forest is located, then you should travel to Sacre Coeur in Quebec, Canada. When people first saw this, they thought it might be the forest spirit. But now that there's a scientific explanation for it, it must be pretty cool to see breathing forests in real life. The following photo was taken from a forest near a nearby train track in Auckland, New Zealand. The context, however, will give you chills. The photo was taken by two children who were in the process of making a documentary for a school project, when suddenly two mysterious figures appeared behind them. Both figures wore white masks and looked like they were straight out of a horror movie. The creepy part about the situation is that the masked figures kept staring at them from the other side of the train tracks for quite a while. Fortunately for them, the children escaped unharmed. But the question is, what were these people doing in the forest, and why did they decide to stare at them? What do you think? The Yaokigaraha, also called the Suicide Forest, is an infamous place in Japan where bodies are regularly found. The forest is located on the edge of Mount Fuji, about a two-hour drive from Tokyo. Many horror movies that have been made were inspired by this forest. Many people who went into the forest had decided in advance they will not return. Aside from the forest reputation, there are also an awful lot of trees making it difficult to walk through it at times. In some cases, the trees are so close together that the wind can't blow through them. It would also be a very easy place to get lost, so you should know your way back. In addition, it's said that cell phones and GPS systems frequently fail. And of course, we can't forget the stories about ghosts, so it's not really recommended to visit the forest. One day, a 64-year-old woman was taking a walk through the woods of Cannot Chase in Hendensford, England. As she went deeper into the woods, she came across a creepy place where several baby dolls had been nailed to trees. It gave her the creeps, especially when she discovered that an operating room of an old hospital once stood there. The hospital served as a military hospital during World War II, until it ceased to exist in 1924. The dolls looked shabby, as if they'd been there for years. The woman had the dolls examined by a spiritual medium. The medium told her that the dolls had no evil intentions, they just looked scary. In western Switzerland, in the Forest of Malls, there's said to be a mysterious man haunting the forest, wearing a cloak and a gas mask named Le Leon. He was reportedly first spotted in 2003, and has been roaming the woods for over a decade. He's said to be about 6.5 feet or 2 meters tall, and would often scare small children who were playing in the woods. Although he was not aggressive towards people, the local police still hope that they can catch him. They've also tried to chase and search for him a few times, but unfortunately, they failed each time. There's many mysteries surrounding this man, which is why he's also become known as the Ghost of Walls. In the U.S. state of Massachusetts, along the old Sodbury Road in the town of Lincoln, you'll find a group of abandoned rocking horses. Because they're placed in a circle, people compared it to the Stonehenge Circle. As such, this landmark became known as Ponyhenge. There's said to be more than 30 ponies, all of different designs and types. According to the stories, the very first pony arrived in 2010. The land it sits on belongs to James Pingian and his wife, Elizabeth Graver. According to them, the first pony is said to have been left on the field after a Halloween party. Since then, the number of rocking horses mysteriously grew. Although this place is quite creepy, local people decided to decorate the rocking horses with lights at Christmas. The battlefield of Gettysburg has played a major role in history. It's the site of one of the greatest battles of the American Civil War in 1863. According to records, about 7,500 soldiers lost their lives in the battle that lasted three days. Therefore, Gettysburg is now home to not only historical events, but also to paranormal stories. It also happens to be located in the state of Pennsylvania, a place teeming with supernatural activities and unexplained events. Many tourists interested in both history and mystery find their way to Gettysburg, and some of them report having experienced unexplained experiences. In this video footage, a tourist claims that he had captured the ghost of a soldier on camera. Now many people are skeptical of the figure in the video, but there's regular reports of ghost appearances that make people think it could be possibly real. In the last few years, pictures were uploaded to the internet of mysterious staircases standing in the middle of forest. 
Now, you might be wondering if this could be real, and yes, several stairs have been found in different countries. The photos went viral, and it quickly became the talk on Reddit, where some users claimed to have seen the stairs themselves. The mysterious thing about it is that the stairs didn't lead anywhere, leading people to believe that it could possibly be a gateway to another dimension, or maybe even hell. Initially, the staircases were only found in the deep forests of America, sometimes as deep as 37 miles or 60 kilometers into the forest. But soon there were reports of mysterious staircases being found in Germany, Brazil, and the Philippines. According to those who saw the stairs in real life, they felt a kind of presence that they were not welcome, so they didn't dare to climb the stairs. Others believe that the stairs are simply remnants of ancient human settlements. When you're hiking in the wild, you can sometimes expect an encounter with wild animals. The forest is, after all, their territory and hunting ground. While mountain biking in 2014 near Fernie, Canada, a man named Chris encountered a wild animal. In the following video footage, we see a mountain lion chasing the man into the woods. Although an attack by a mountain lion is rare, these animals can still be very dangerous. In the video footage, we see the mountain lion hiding in the grass and clearly stalking the man. We also hear him say, he's not afraid although we can see that his camera is shaking quite a bit. According to the experts, one should remain calm when confronted with a mountain lion. The best thing is to make yourself look tall and slowly walk backwards. After all, running away is pointless because mountain lions can run at 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour. It seems that Chris knew what to do because he remained calm until the lion finally left. At the forest near an apartment complex in the US town of Greenville, nothing is normally wrong. But in 2016, clowns were regularly found trying to offer children money so that they could take them to their hideout in the woods. More than 30 children all reportedly saw clowns in the forest and quickly ran to their parents to tell them. Clowns were also seen at night shining green laser lights on the apartment complex. The police were called, but when they checked the woods, they couldn't find the mysterious clowns. In the woods of the town of Middlebury in the US state of Connecticut, there's a creepy place called the Little People's Village. It's a place where many houses are situated in an area with a stone house and ruins. According to various stories, these are said to have been there for decades or even longer. It's said that witches lived in the village, who had seen little fairies in the forest and built houses for them. Another story says that a man lived in the stone house who heard voices of little people who made him build the houses. Other people think that maybe the houses belong to an old amusement park. What do you think? In 2005, a local resident named River Wolf from Santa Cruz, California came across a white gravestone in the woods. He didn't really think much of it at first and decided to walk on. Seven years later, he found the same gravestone and decided to examine it. He finally found out that it belonged to a woman named Mary Holmes, who died of tuberculosis in the year of 1898 at the age of 21. At that time, many gravestones were stolen because they had great value. The mysterious part of the story is that the gravestone was taken to the woods for unknown reasons, and thus was never found again until 100 years later. The Petrified Forest National Park in Arizona is known for its petrified trees that have remained the same for centuries. But that's not the only thing it's famous for. Many people claim that if you take a twig or pebble from the forest, you will be cursed for life. The forest was declared a national monument in December 1906, and then it was also forbidden to take things from the forest. Those who were caught had to pay a substantial fine. But as you can guess, some visitors ignored this and took several things from the forest. In the year 1930, people came forward claiming that after taking things from the forest, they had tremendous bad luck in their lives. The national park also received numerous letters and got stolen things back from the visitors who desperately wished that this could undo their misfortune. <laughs> There's a good chance that when you were a child, you had a doll or multiple dolls as a toy. As you grew up, they can become pretty creepy. One day, a man took a walk through a Russian forest and came across the house that seemed to be completely deserted. Soon, he realized that the whole house was full of all kinds of dolls and stuffed animals, some of which were in a bad state. Many of them were nailed to high poles, and as he explored the place further, he found even more mysterious artworks and even a fence from which a cow's skull was hung. To this day, nobody knows who was behind this. Could it have been someone who was fed up with this collection of dolls and hugged them up to frighten people? Or maybe the dolls were possessed? Who knows? A YouTube star named Mr. Hutch117 uploaded a video on the 15th of January 2013, 
in which he and his wife took a walk through a snowy forest. It's unclear where he is, but when he heard this scary sound, he grabbed his cell phone to record it. This is what he heard. Just listen. Oh, this is it. Maybe it wasn't 2012, it was, it was 2013. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. This is the first time I've heard the sound myself, and it doesn't seem to me that it's an animal. It sounds very extraterrestrial, but what could it have been? Unfortunately, Mr. Hutch didn't post more info about the video, so all we have is this. What do you think it was? Let me know in the comments. According to local folklore, there's a giant snake called Wessie that is said to live in the woods around the Presumpscot River in the American town of Westbrook. There's many stories of people who have seen the giant snake claiming that it was the size of a truck with the head the size of a basketball. However, the snake was never recorded on camera until a man came across a giant snake skin of 12 meters long when he was walking through the forest in August of 2016. They had the snake skin analyzed and they found out that it came from a female green anaconda that was between 10 and 12 years old. This type of snake is normally found in tropical areas of South America and the Amazon. So experts think there's a good chance that the previous owners of the snake had bred it and eventually released it into the wild. The next story is pretty creepy. One day in the Arcata Forest in the state of California, a man came across an abandoned hut that stood between several trees in a remote place. As you can see in this picture, you can hardly see the hut, so it was very well hidden. When I first heard this, it reminded me a bit of the 2011 movie called Cabin in the Woods. When they took a look at the cabin, they saw that it was inhabited quite recently. There was canned food, water supplies, a typewriter, a folded bed, a bench, a handwritten to-do list to renovate the cabin, and several books including one called Catch Me If You Can. The authorities decided to leave a note that the person had to remove his belongings because it was illegal to just live in the woods. However, when they went back a few days later, the whole thing was gone, and all that was left was a strange kind of sign on the ground. A group of friends decided to walk through the forest on a foggy day, and when they were deep enough, they took a picture to capture their time together. After, they kept walking, but when they got home that night and looked back at the pictures, they realized that one of the pictures in the background was someone hidden among the trees. Apparently, they were not alone in the woods. When they posted the photo on the internet, some people thought it might have been Slenderman. Other people thought it was just a friend of theirs, or that the figure was photoshopped. But if this wasn't the case, it's pretty scary to think that someone was watching you. So to this day, it remains unclear who this mysterious figure was in the background. When you see this picture for the first time, you think maybe an alien spacecraft has landed in the middle of the forest. The circular object seems to stand around some trees and would be in Dubnap, a village in western Russia. It's unclear who or what made it and what it was used for. But inside, there's a strange keyhole. In some places, there's also several holes where sunlight can shine through, and on the outside there's a mark of a radioactive sign. However, it's not clear if this sphere is radioactive, because the area is not enclosed, and it doesn't stop people from looking at the object up close. Local people say that it's been there since the 80s, and that it's not guarded. But they have no idea what it is. When two friends were walking through the woods in the north of Germany, they came across a place with pipes sticking out of the ground. After looking around for a while, they found an underground entrance that was initially covered with leaves and branches. As they walked down, they found an iron door that blew shut behind them. The boys eventually ended up at several corridors that seemed to be infinite. Some of them were even a dead end. As they walked through the corridors more and more, tunnels were found, and at one point they came across a wall with the word HELP on it. Further on, they found a door with the text HELLO SATAN I LOVE YOU written on it. If this wasn't creepy enough, they found dark rooms that were underwater and where the smell was unbearable. In one of the rooms, there was an old machine with a shoe stuck in the mud and a strange white substance hanging from the ceiling. A really creepy place if you ask me. What do you think this bunker was used for? Let me know in the comments. In 1962, a lumberjack named David McPherson and his friend found a white box near Luther's Mountain, a village in Canada. The object weighed 180 kilograms and hung with a parachute on a tree. Inside the box were two cameras, and after the find appeared in the news, it was quickly confiscated by the CIA. McPherson's son said it irritated his father because he couldn't figure out what it had been. People in the village wanted answers, but the government came out with an official message that it was just a weather balloon. 
People didn't believe this and it remained a big mystery for 55 years, until in 2017, documents were released under the name Project Jantrix, stating that the white box was a secret project used to spy on China and Russia. However, it never became clear what was on the camera, and it makes you think, because maybe we're always being watched. In October of 2016, a man named James Rankling walked through a forest in New York when he came across several flyers attached to the trees. James said it's a remote spot in the forest where not many people come. As he explored the place further, he came across a tent with open cans of food, and there were even tools, including a shovel which made it very creepy. Because James was worried, he called in the police to investigate. A few days later, they were told that the flyer was meant for a Halloween party. But according to James, it looked like the flyers had been there for months, and not recently. But whether this is the case or not, it remains very strange that someone wanted to hold a party in a remote spot in the woods with decorations of flyers that apparently belong to real people. Imagine if one day you're walking quietly through the forest, and at some point you come across these skeletons. I think you would be shocked for a moment, especially if it was at night. But don't worry, these skeletons belong to some kind of art gallery in the middle of a forest near Essex in the English town of Bellacre. There's also a blue statue over a hovering woman holding an umbrella and a bunch of extraterrestrials lying in a circle. This park's even been turned into a festival. The Hanley Festival, as it's called, is held every year and attracts an audience of over 30,000 people. Sculptors and artists from all over the world come here, and if you like to dress up, this might be something for you. The circular spot called the Devil's Tramping Ground has been the subject of countless legends and stories for years. Some even claim it's the place where the devil himself comes to walk. This spot is a mysterious and frightening location in the woods of Bear Creek in North Carolina. The origin of the Devil's Tramping Ground is unclear, but one theory suggests that it may have been created by Native Americans as a gathering place for the tribes. Others believed it was formed by a meteorite impact or some other geological event. Despite its intriguing history, the area remains shrouded in mystery and uncertainty, with many visitors reporting unexplainable events. Some claim to have heard eerie voices or seen ghostly apparitions. Whether you believe in the supernatural or not, there's no denying that this spot has a haunting beauty and presence. This mysterious location is sure to leave you with more questions than answers. Would you ever dare to go there? CWD, better known as zombie deer disease, is a disturbing condition affecting deer populations in the Midwest of the United States. First discovered in Colorado in 1967, the disease has rapidly spread to 23 other states. But recently, it's also been observed in the Canadian provinces of Alberta and Saskatchewan, and even in Norway, Finland, and South Korea. The disease is caused by an abnormal protein called a prion that attacks the brains and nervous systems of the deer leading to, among other things, lack of coordination. One of the most notable features is how it affects behavior of the deer, causing them to behave in a way that can be described as zombie-like. Infected deer also exhibit symptoms such as lack of fear of humans or predators, and a repetitive pattern of walking in circles. The disease is fatal, with no known cure or preventative measures currently available. Its spread is therefore concerning, as deer are a crucial part of the food chain and play an important role in the health of the forest. Moreover, it would be quite creepy if you encounter a zombie deer in the woods, don't you think? Forests have always been places of mysterious and eerie sensations. With their vast expanse and dense vegetation, forests are perfect habitats for various animals, including wolves and bears. Occasionally, you may come across a sign in the woods warning you that dangerous animals are roaming around and that you should be careful. But the next sign found in a forest gives a very strange warning. We see a man jumping over hands, almost as if he's escaping from zombie hands. It's unclear where exactly this sign was found, but what could this creepy sign possibly mean? One thing's for sure, after seeing that warning sign, I definitely wouldn't be walking in that forest anymore. Many people love hiking in the woods, but some say they now think twice before entering a secluded forest. What do you think this sign means? Let me know in the comments. Amid a group of young people enjoying a campfire deep in the woods, two girls were shocked when they saw something moving behind a tree. It took them a while to realize what they were seeing, a small alien creature. As terrifying as it seemed at first, these two girls couldn't resist their curiosity and decided to take a closer look at the creature. 
To their amazement, it seemed just as curious about them as they were about it. But what was this creature doing in the woods? Was it lost or trying to blend in with nature? As they tried to get closer with the light from their flashlights, the creature retreated behind the tree and disappeared. The possibilities of encounters with extraterrestrial beings and UFO sightings has long fascinated people, and this experience has only added fuel to that fire. The woods with its dark shadows and mysterious sounds is of course a perfect place for an alien to hide. The discovery of megalithic structures in the western Amazon region in 2016 led archaeologists to believe that they have found the Brazilian Stonehenge. The discovery was made through satellite images that showed several groups of megaliths arranged in a circular formation. Researchers who discovered the site decided to call it the Amazon Stonehenge. The discovery of megaliths is significant because many people believe that the Amazon region, despite hosting millions of people, was largely ignored in prehistory. Yet, the discovery suggests that the Amazon region was likely a center of complex societies that could create such massive structures. The megaliths appear to have been made about 2,000 years ago and cover about 1,000 hectares of land, indicating the existence of a large settlement. The site also has the geometric designs within the stones that resemble constellations, indicating a possible use for spiritual ceremonies. Are you ready to step into a world of mystery? Look no further than the Dow Hill Forest in India, where ghosts roam free. Located at the foot of the Himalayas, the forest is known for its eerie silence, abandoned houses, and unexplained deaths. It's said that those who enter the forest never return, making it the ultimate destination for thrill-seekers and ghost hunters. The forest also houses several abandoned schools that are considered spooky, including the Dow Hill Girls School and Victoria Boys High School. The schools are shrouded in a dark history of unexplained deaths, with some students dying under mysterious circumstances. The most chilling part of the story is that some locals claim to have seen apparitions of headless boys and women dressed in white walking through the forest. Many people believe that the ghosts are angry at the abuse of the forest, which has been exposed to illegal logging and deforestation. It's believed that disturbing the natural balance of the forest has angered the ghosts, leading to an increase in ghost sightings. The Indian government has warned tourists and advised them to stay away from the abandoned schools and not to go too far into the forest. A recent discovery of 20,000-year-old UFO wreckage in British Columbia, Canada has left archaeologists frightened. They discovered the remains of an extraterrestrial vehicle dating back to the last ice age. According to the article, it suggested that a UFO had crashed on Earth. The strange thing about this story is that other sources claim that it didn't happen in Canada, but in Russia. High-ranking KGB officials are said to have found the UFO and covered up the story. However, it's clear that the wreckage contains metals that are not of this world. Experts therefore conclude that it may indeed be of extraterrestrial origin. Interestingly, there is speculation that the UFO may be connected to ancient legends of extraterrestrial contacts. In Native American folklore, there are stories of star people, beings with advanced technological abilities who left behind mysterious artifacts. Could this discovery be evidence that these stories were always true? Unfortunately, the discovery of the 20,000-year-old UFO wreckage raises more questions than answers. The Doll Island, also known as Isla de las Munecas, is a place that will give you chills. It's an island located on the Xochimilco canals near Mexico City, where trees are decorated with hundreds of decaying dolls. The island is home to a legend dating back to the 1950s, when a young girl drowned in the canal near the island. Supposedly, a man named Julian Santana Barrera hung the dolls to appease her spirit, as he was haunted by her. The dolls hanging everywhere on the island are said to be possessed. The island is truly frightening and an eerie place, unlike anywhere else in the world. Additionally, it's become a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors from all over the world. But beware, the dolls are said to be cursed, and touching them or even taking them off the island can invite misfortune into your life. Tourists who have visited the island claim to have been followed by the eyes of the dolls and heard whispers in their ears. A trail camera in the forest in Alabama captured an image of a long, hairy feet with wolf-like claws. The exact location of where this was seen is unclear, but it's caused much speculation about what this beast could be. According to the story, the camera was immediately destroyed, which only added to the creepy atmosphere of the incident. 
The owner of the property also reported losing five pet goats in the past two weeks. It has people wondering what creature could be responsible for such brutality and violence. Another similar incident is even more disturbing and may be related to the creature with the wolf-like claws. A person captured on camera what he claims to be a lizard man somewhere in Bishopville, South Carolina. This creature has remained elusive, but the thought of it alone is chilling. He also claims that this large creature was covered in spines and had been watching him for a while. You could almost think this was straight out of a horror movie, but according to the description of the video, this happened in real life. Deep in the Ozark Mountains of the United States lies the remains of an abandoned hospital with a tragic history. Welch Spring Hospital, also known as Missouri State Sanatorium, was established in the early 1900s as a treatment center for patients suffering with tuberculosis. The hospital operated for almost 40 years before being closed in the 1940s due to the discovery of an antibiotic cure for the infectious disease. Today, the hospital's ruins stand as a testament to the past and the human suffering that occurred within its walls. The moss-covered stones and rusted metal equipment serve as a reminder of the patients who lived and died there. The hospital was infamous for its experimental procedures, which often did more harm than good. Visitors brave enough to explore the ruins have reported feeling a supernatural presence. Some claim to have even seen ghostly apparitions or heard unexplained noises. Many believe that the spirits of the patients who died in the hospital linger and seek closure for the pain and suffering that they endured. Have you ever explored a forest and found anything? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.